हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर कीर्ती समुद्र डायबेटोलॉजिस्ट प्रॅक्टिसिंग इन न्यू पनवेल टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू टॉक अबाउट डायबिटीस हाऊ टू नो वेदर यू आर डायबिटिक ऑर नॉट इट्स कॉम्प्लिकेशन्स अँड हाऊ टू प्रिव्हेंट डायबिटीस डायबिटीस ॲज वी ऑल नो इट्स अ लाईफ स्टाईल डिसीज ॲक्च्युली इट्स अ डिसऑर्डर अँड देर आर डिफरंट टाईप्स ऑफ डायबिटीस Commonly whatever we are seeing is type 2 diabetes. There is something called type 1 diabetes and gestational diabetes. What we all see uh, all around in our neighborhood or with, within our relatives, it's called type 2 diabetes. What happens in diabetes is that insulin production or action becomes hampered. In type 1 diabetes, all the cells that is beta cells which produce insulin are destroyed and that's why these patients do not secrete insulin insulin is a hormone which is required for glucose metabolism glucose is a source of energy for our body for our cells as we all know our body is made up of multiple millions and trillions of cells every cell is a living structure which requires energy for its function and all the cells are always functioning means from our birth to our death so every cell will require energy which it's derives from glucose glucose we get it from food whatever food we eat the major portion of our food is carbohydrates the carbohydrates after digestion they get converted into glucose that is the simple sugar this glucose is mixed in the blood and through the blood it reaches to all the organs and all the cells of the body blood goes with the in with the help of blood vessels with the with the branches of blood vessels which are smallest branches are the capillaries this glucose enters the cell and then it is converted into energy so for entry of the glucose inside the cell insulin is required insulin is a hormone which is secreted by the beta cells of islets of langerhans which are present in our pancreas pancreas is a organ which is situated in the c loop of small intestine that is duodenum behind our stomach along with beta cells there are something called alpha cells which secrete another hormone called glucagon glucagon has the action which is exactly opposite to insulin so in type 1 diabetes as i told you which actually is uh, found in children usually it is found in children below the age of 20 years because of some problem maybe some autoimmune uh, problem or some viral infection which leads to autoimmunity these beta cells are destroyed and these children cannot produce insulin and because of lack of insulin they cannot metabolize their sugar and the sugar starts increasing in the blood which is very dangerous because then these children they start burning fat for energy purpose and with the burning of fat some toxic products are produced which are called ketone bodies and then these children usually present with some neurological problem or with diabetic coma fortunately this is quite a rare condition not very commonly seen but type 2 diabetes is very very common if we see and see the statistics of all all over world our country that is india is number 2 in type 2 diabetes number first being china and the number at present is almost more than 65 millions and more than that that is around 72 millions are undiagnosed that is the people they don't know that they are they are diabetic but they are in the range of pre-diabetes so how do we know that whether you are, you are diabetic or not with the help of blood sugar checkup we can know that whether diabetes is present or not normal fasting blood glucose levels are less than 100 milligrams per deciliter and postprandial that is two hours after food should be always less than 140 
the, these are the normal levels and we have another test called HbA1c or glycosylated hemoglobin which gives the 3 months average of uh, someone's blood glucose it should be always less than 5.7 in a non-diabetic person and for diabetes if fasting blood sugar is more than 125 and post lunch blood sugar if it is more than 200 and HbA1c level more than 6.4 then the person is labeled as type 2 diabetes. Then what happens in between that is fasting level between 100 to 125 postprandial level between 140 to 200 and HbA1c level between 5.8 to 6.4 these are labeled as pre-diabetes. This is for the first time when somebody checks the blood sugar. Every time the symptoms may not be present. So, diabetes many of the times is detected only on routine examination, maybe pre-employment checkup or somebody has gone for uh, blood sugar checkup or routine checkup just, just like that or somebody presenting with fever and just doing blood, blood or urine sugar test and comes positive. So, most of the times people get detected because of all this, but if you have some symptoms or if you have you are at high risk that is if you have a strong family history of diabetes that is your parents or grandparents or uh, first degree relatives are diabetic you must check for diabetes. If you are overweight that is if your BMI is above 23 then you must check for diabetes or somebody ladies who have delivered babies more than 9 pounds must check for diabetes and if you have symptoms like an extraordinary tiredness, weight loss, excessive hunger, then uh, excessive urination, excessive thirst all these symptoms are they indicate presence of diabetes. Sometimes delayed wound healing or shoulder pain, neck pain or something which is not healing uh, very well, some wounds which are not healing very well tingling and numbness all four limbs or usually feet burning feet all these also point to diabetes and person must check for diabetes. Once you are detected diabetes then you must follow good healthy lifestyle. Diabetes must be controlled to prevent complications. Control of diabetes means HbA1c should be less than 7, your blood pressure should be always less than 130 by 80 your cholesterol also, also should be very well under control as per your doctor's advice and you must regularly check up and screen for complications of diabetes once you are detected diabetic. Every year person must check for kidney complications, eyes complications or heart problem, feet examination. These are very very important because complications of diabetes lead to usually vascular involvement that is blood vessels get affected and then accordingly patients do suffer with diabetic nephropathy, diabetic retinopathy, diabetic cardiomyopathy or peripheral vascular disease, diabetic peripheral neuropathy, diabetic foot all these complications are preventable if you control your diabetes properly. So, for control of diabetes you must follow good diet exercise almost one hour exercise per day is very important and medicines. Medicines are also very important because as you all know if your diabetes is because of lack of insulin or if your insulin is not acting properly you require drugs. If sugars are very high or patients with type 1 diabetes or gestational diabetes they will require insulin for the treatment. Patients of type 2 diabetes will require either tablets or insulin as per requirement. As per doctor's advice you must follow and treat your diabetes, keep it under control, prevent complications, take care of your feet. Doctors are there to advise and write the prescription for you, but you are the people you should follow and take care of your, your diabetes. Diabetes can be controlled only with good knowledge about the disease, getting educated 
about the disease and then only you can prevent complications and can live healthy life with diabetes. Thank you.